Hi guys, it's Zoe and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be coming to you with another wig tutorial because what else would I do guys? Come on at this point, you know the drill. Um, but yeah, I got this wig from West Kiss Hair and I'm obsessed, I'm not going to lie guys. Um, when I first took the wig out of the box, which you'll see like in a second or minute, whatever, I was very concerned, I was very scared, um, you'll see and hear why I was, but I feel like I finessed it well and yeah, I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I do want to tone the blonde a little bit, it's kind of a yellow blonde which is fine, but yeah, you know I love my ashy blondes, so yeah, I might, you know, put a little bit of purple shampoo, but I'm kind of digging this look as well, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, I also tried something different with the baby hairs. I made them a bit more fluffy because I feel like with blonde hair, fluffy baby hairs look 10 times nicer than, you know, when they're just glued down because that's when it starts mixing with your actual makeup as well and starts staining the blonde. Yeah, I really like this wig. It's giving Cruella de Vil. It's giving what it needs to give, period. But if you guys want to see how I achieved this look and all the hair specs and details, just keep on watching. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe before I get into everything as well. And I will see you in a second. Are you ready? Ooh, I know you see me standing here. Jumping right on into the vid. Um, this is the box. So I got the hair in a... 22 inch 13 by 4 frontal um 180 density it was actually really thick which i'm surprised about because 180 isn't normally that full but like this was giving 200 percent density um and it also came in a small cap size which i'm normally a medium but i don't know but it fit perfectly anyway so you know it's all good so this is the wig now like i said at the start of the video i was very very concerned and scared when i took this out of the box like i've never had a wig where they've curled and styled it before so as you can see it looks like they've like gone in with curling irons or curling ones and like curled the ends and like hairsprayed the front as well which is fine and very considerate but like it just wasn't giving what it needed to give um and then like the front where the blonde was felt very crunchy as well and i do think that's partly because of the bleach um it was slightly over processed however once i washed it it was feeling you know normal and fine again and then as you can see like the hairline as well for some reason like before i washed it it was just looking not great so yeah very scared um but we made it work First things first, I went ahead and bleached the knots and I literally just bleached the section without the blonde. Um, as you can see, there's like a, you can tell in the back of the lace where the blonde part is. So you want to avoid that section at all costs. And I grabbed my Jerome Russell bleach as usual. You know, you know the vibes 40 developer and I just put that in the section where the black hair was. And I let that sit for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes and washed it out. It bleached perfectly. As you can see, this is what it looked like, guys. And like the crunch has gone. It's super silky, super smooth. I don't know what happened earlier, but yeah, she was looking great and felt super, super soft. The bleach took on really well. It wasn't over processed. And I didn't actually have to pluck that much, guys. This is what it looked like when I was plucking it. And it literally went smoothly um i thought i was gonna have to pluck a lot of hair but i literally spent about 15 minutes plucking the wig this is the wig um we're gonna install this and put this on our heads i just cut the hair a tiny bit at the ends just uh i don't know i just wanted to to be honest um i grabbed my nw58 powder from mac and i just pressed it into the bottom of the lace and just put the wig on um i did go in and you know try and darken the lace as i was installing the wig as it was still a little bit too light for me and it's really difficult to um tint blonde hair as well because you don't want the brown mixing in with the blonde because it just looks gross and like dirty so you want to be really careful when you're tinting any hair that has you know blonde white gray like you just want to be careful when doing this so i'm now going in with my eyebrow razor and just cutting the lace off you know the drill yeah this is pretty easy i was concerned that the wig wasn't going to fit me properly because it's a smaller cap size than what i normally get i think they 
I don't, can't remember if I asked for a medium or, or a small or whatever but yeah they sent me a small but it fit perfectly so um if you if you normally wear a medium cap size I would just go for the small in this instance for this wig as you can see I'm just going in with my powder again just on the blonde section because it was really really light and I didn't enjoy that I'm going in with a small detail brush as well just to really get in there and like you know focus on the lace rather than the hair being tinted for glue I'm using my got to be gel and hairspray I still haven't tried the bed head guys I need to buy it like I really need to next time I go to boots I'm gonna grab the bed head hairspray because I keep seeing it on tiktok I've already mentioned this before but like People just keep hyping up about it and I really, really, really want to try it. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully by the next video, I'll actually own it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I just really took my time gluing down the lace. I just wanted everything to lay down perfectly. Once I got the glue down, I just grabbed my powder again on this tiny eyeshadow brush and I'm literally just going in anywhere where it looks a little bit light. In person, it looks perfect, by the way, like the blend is really nice, but for some reason on the camera and even like when I was doing the intro, it showed up a little bit, you know, white cast, but you know, it looks good in person. That's all that matters. So this is my new baby hair technique, guys. Um, I'm obsessed with it. So... I'm grabbing a section in a sort of C shape um, from the outer third of my eyebrow, if that makes sense. And I'm just grabbing my tweezers and I'm just plucking the hairs. Um, you don't want the like that section to be super, super, super full. You want it to be a little bit wispy, a little bit light, you know what I'm saying? Plucking behind that a little bit as well. And I'm just doing this, you know, all around the hairline, the sideburns and, you know, the exact same on the other side now usually guys if you've been watching my videos i like slick my baby hairs like down to my forehead um with gel and mousse and you know great look you can't go wrong with it but i feel like this sort of just makes it look a little bit more natural and a little bit more just not stiff i don't know how to explain it it's like giving like jada wada arrogant tay like that's the vibe we want to go for but anyways essentially um, I don't know why I lost the clip of this but anyway you want to grab your eyebrow raises and cut the baby hairs and then just grab your hair straighteners and curl it inwards so towards your face I'm grabbing my got to be hairspray and I'm just grabbing my edge comb and sweeping the baby hairs that way while using my fingers to guide where I want them to lay now what this does is it creates you know a hold for the baby hairs to stay down without it like being completely flat or like slipped down um i don't know how to explain it properly anyways i'm just gonna keep swooping my baby hairs and doing this all over my hairline well i say all over like four times basically um now i'm gonna grab my hot comb and i'm just gonna hot comb the hairline section thing whatever you call this part of the wig um I just want things to be really smooth in that part and to really bring out the baby hairs that we've just done as well. Once I've got all of that done, I'm grabbing my edge wrap and I'm just tying my hair back first, actually. If you just want to tie your hair out the way just so you can really, you know, focus on getting this flat on your hair. So I'm grabbing this and I'm just wrapping this around my hair and I'm doing this super, super, super tightly. This is another important step when doing these baby hairs because this helps lay them down and, you know, stop them from frizzing up. Um, so don't skip this step, guys. Once I've done that, I'm letting down my hair. And for today's look, since we've done a side part, I kind of just wanted to add like a little bit of a curl, a loose wave. Um... Yeah, just a little, you know, flowy wave moment. So I'm just separating my hair in half and I'm grabbing my two inch curler. I think this is two inch from Babyless. Um, I got this on, on Amazon. It was actually like 15 pounds, I think even less. Um, so yeah, great stuff. So I'm literally just curling my hair and spraying each section with hairspray, holding it in my hand and then dropping it. And I'm just doing this all over my head. Um, I didn't film the whole curling process because that's boring. But yeah, this is what it looked like once I finished curling the hair. Um, I'm not brushing out the curls just yet. I'm taking off the edge wrap first. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because um, you want the curls to really set in place first. But look at those baby hairs, guys. Like, come 
on it's giving what it needs to give all right all right um anyways just to clean up the hairline parting thing just grabbing some eyeshadow sorry no face powder i'm grabbing some face powder and just placing that in the part and this just helps to elevate the way the wig looks as well and makes it look more natural once i've got all those steps done i'm just fluffing out the hair and really brushing out those curls and yeah this is the final look guys i hope you enjoyed this video like i said at the start make sure you guys like comment and subscribe um let me know what you think of the hair as well it's gorgeous as you can see no stiffness anymore um they really came through so yeah i'll see you in my next video bye guys